it's the 12th of February and it's a few days since I've uploaded but um, basically the upload today is pretty much along the same um, lines as the other uploads I've shared. Um, basically as being a victim of hate crime and experiencing violations and victimisation, um, the issues that I'm going to address in this upload is with regard to the safety of women in society. Um, when um, circumstances such as these that occur, uh, when a woman is being violated and when a woman is being wronged, it really makes a person consider how progressive um, society actually is. Um, as I've said, since uh, being married and since being deserted, um, my legal rights have been uh, disrespected. Um, the issues that have been caused have uh, involved very serious defamatory claims that have been stated about me and um, this not only brings to question about um, legal violations and legal rights but also the um, issue of fairness and just, justness in civil society and in a progressive democratic society. So um, as I've said, I'm a victim and survivor of sexual assault and um, now as well in the past, most recent past, um, there's been individuals in society um, creating a furore um, about matters that don't concern them but that they have um, discussed openly without any knowledge of what they're discussing. Um, as I've said also, there's been people uh, claiming um, knowledge that um, is based on superficial knowledge, as far as I'm concerned, and the falsehoods and false claims that have been relayed are very serious. Um, the issue of uh, legal violations um, for a victim and a survivor of assault and domestic violence and hate crime and uh, defamation um, is, is very serious for authorities and politicians not to be addressing. Um, as I've mentioned recently in my uploads, I've had to put together my victim impact statement and um, that's not an easy task. Um, it's quite difficult after having completed the process of grieving um, with the losses that have been caused for me unjustifiably and inexcusably I might add um, it's quite an exhausting process to kind of um, regurgitate and rehash all the incidents of offences that I've experienced without any supports or services or advocacy um, now for this to be happening I don't know how any self-respecting woman um, in this century and in this country um, that's supposed to be a progressive democracy would be um, involved or facilitating or turning a blind eye to such circumstances. Um, as regards civil liberties, I've also mentioned how people have obstructed justice, but also have obstructed assistance and support. And, um, you know, at this stage now, with regards to my medical ailments and the other matters that have been caused for me by these individuals, um, it's it's sincerely a very serious issue. Um, the matters that people have discussed without any knowledge of what they're discussing and without any interaction or involvement or engagement um, makes me wonder how they intend to uh, bluff their way out of the bad news that they've been relaying. Um, there's been bad news um, about a lot of matters in society. There's been a lot of bad lies relayed also in society and it's quite shameful to be quite honest that a deserted wife and a victim of assault would be in these circumstances. Um, victim impact statements aren't easy to put together and um, especially when it's over a 15 year period and um, I've been a victim of culprits that have been assaulting my rights since 2005 and um, even up to recently, the onslaught of offences that I've experienced have um, been a lot worse than what occurred over 10 years ago, um, simply because it involved other innocent individuals. So um, this 
issue of legal violations and women in society that have been victimized and violated um, is a very serious matter for politicians to be addressing. Um, as I've said, there's been financial abuse and exploitation and the women's um, aid group and the movement Me Too and the He For She and all, all women's uh, support groups are fully aware of the tactics involved when wronging an innocent mother and deserted wife and professional. Um, so this has all been systematic. This is ongoing. I've still not received acknowledgements and um, it's, it's quite baffling that any self-respecting female politicians would think that this is just a case of turning a blind eye to. Um, it's not an issue to be swept under the carpet. There's been other serious matters caused besides uh, the legal violations and the medical incompetence that I've experienced. And um, the people involved in this matter are fully aware of the trouble that they've caused and the harm and the endanger endangerment that they've caused for others also. So um, this brings me on to the matter of women's rights and um, women collectively in society uh, disrespecting a woman that has worked, earned and achieved and um, it beggars belief um, how any assault of any woman's rights um, is in any way justifiable. So it's quite an embarrassing situation for all involved because um, as I've mentioned in previous uploads, mentally healthy people that are confident with their own abilities and skills and achievements um, don't um, behave like this at all. But um, that, that's another issue about whatever they're experiencing. But um, as a person, as I've said, that has worked for nearly 20 years and is now suffering um, medical ailments that still haven't been addressed, um, I find it very insulting that uh, people, individuals involved in this vendetta and assault of my rights uh, think that this is a disposable issue with a form that um, I would even query the legitimacy of. So um, there's been other unauthorised, um, you know, matters presented to me. And, um, you know, as I've said, my legal vi the legal violations that I've experienced have um, been very poor. Um, or not for, the legal violations have been very serious, but the legal assistance that I've rec uh, received has been very poor. So, um, as a grown adult, as a mentally healthy individual, fully competent, that has been violated and wronged, and who's been, you know, whose profession has been disrespected, and whose spiritual purpose has been violated, um, the whole issue of human rights is a very pertinent matter for um, me at the moment, because um, as a victim of assault and a survivor, and um, as you know. A person that has uh, worked for what I got, um, I find it very insulting and quite embarrassing for um, any community to um, think that this is just an insignificant issue. And um, as regards mental health, um, I'm really worried about people that um, have no honesty. I'm really worried about people that can't, can't confront their own offences and wrongdoings. I'm very worried about people that um, have a tendency to make problems worse without realizing the consequences. And I'm very worried about people that, um, you know, have disrespected the integrity and dignity of uh, females, professional females um, that, you know, are being violated in society. So with regards to women's rights, and as a deserted wife who's been violated legally, um, I'm wondering, like, are any of the politicians up in Dal Éireann any bit concerned about what's going on? And how many lies and how many more problems and troubles are going to be caused? And um, in this day and age, health and well-being is, uh, you know, brought to the fore. And so is, you know, you know health and well-being, mental health as well. And um, mental health with regards to those individuals that think they're going to trample on people's um, rights and entitlements and just take and take and take without ever even 
paying what's owed or without compensating for the damage done uh, makes me wonder uh, what kind of a mentality or state of mental health are they um, experiencing and as a person in recovery that has worked in self-development for over a decade since 2006 when I last experienced a circumstance like this um, you know the level of maturity of individuals that um, are basically using child childhood playground tactics um, it's very it's very um, it's, it's it begs beggars belief what is being tolerated and these might be old adults young adults um, but falsehoods and false claims that are a tactic in this vendetta is quite pathetic and um, as regards you know amends that are due and compensation that's overdue um, and legal rights that are being disrespected and um, obligations and responsibilities and duties that have been negated and uh, disregarded also um, you know it's I'm, I'm quite concerned about how society is coming along these days because as far as I was aware um, we were supposed to be a progressive society and um, as regards spiritual evolution it just shows that uh, when people aren't able to address issues that they have caused and when they choose to make matters worse then um, it just shows how unevolved and um, uncivilized they are and um, that's not pleasant to have to say but hate crime is a dangerous uh, malaise in any society and it makes everyone quite sick so um, I'm wondering would the politicians um, care to address the malaise that has been caused in this community because of people's lies, greed, jealousy and um, other matters that um, have caused this situation so it's been ongoing since I've uh, given birth and it's been ongoing since uh, being deserted and um, as a professional and as a humanitarian and as a peace campaigner even though the individuals um, assaulting my good name and reputation would uh, choose to say otherwise uh, those individuals that don't know what they're talking about shouldn't be saying things at all at all about what they have no knowledge of but um, that's another issue and um, as regards women in society that are being victimized and violated um, there shouldn't be issues of any sort caused for a woman living independently um, especially a woman that has been wronged and especially a woman that is owed so much so um, those that are disturbing the peace and those that have a tendency to uh, lie as a means to evade and confront the damage that they've done um, I hope they might have a check of their uh, conscience and um, consider the consequences for the problems that have been caused against um, women's rights, uh, human rights and children's rights in Tralee County, Kerry, Ireland.